All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, explain some of the things about GPUs in regards to Blender. Because often I get asked questions about how much difference does rendering with a GPU make, or can I render with multiple GPUs? Do I have to use SLI or NVLink or anything like that? Uh, if I have two 8 gigabyte GPUs, does that then mean I have 16 gigabytes worth of memory? So let me go ahead and answer all these questions. Essentially, let me first address the question, does it make a difference? Right now, I have, let me bring up my uh, <coughs> system information. My CPU is not a slouch of a CPU. It's it's not an ultra high end CPU, but it's definitely not a slouch. It's a 3900X. So let's see how quickly the 3900X will render this scene. Now I do have a slight overclock, all core overclock to four gigahertz, which um, that's only 200 megahertz overclock, but you know, it's it's good, safe, cool running overclock, and it's all core. And you can see right now I'm I'm rendering with it, and all CPUs are being utilized, or all cores are being utilized at 100%, 100% 100 percent, 100 percent load, 3.999 gigahertz, and you see the sample count going up. <clears throat> and as you can see it's going to take roughly two minutes to render I'm just going to let this go in real time I'm not going to fast forward through any of this and hopefully I don't run out of things to talk about the first time I ever rendered this scene was on a laptop from like 2013 it was a two core AMD E1500 APU CPU and um, it took roughly 45 minutes to render this scene and this CPU <coughs> This CPU looks like it's going to do it in about two minutes, a little over two minutes. Granted, this version of Blender is a little bit more efficient than older versions. All right, it's almost finished. Got about 25 samples more to go. There we go. Two minutes and eight seconds. Okay. Now let's open up preferences, and as you can see, I have two GPUs. I have a 3070 and a 3060. I'm going to start off with the 3060, which is the weaker of the two, and I'm going to put it in CUDA, which CUDA is the less efficient form of rendering. All right, I'm going to change this from CPU to GPU, and we'll render this one more time. I'm going to go ahead and put this in slot 2 and then render image and we'll see how much quicker it is. <coughs> see it's already up to 250 samples. It's already halfway rendered. Alright, 32 seconds. So there you go. It, it essentially took, uh, it's four times faster, essentially, this GPU is. Okay, now let's try the other GPU. Now this GPU is quite a bit more powerful than the 3060, but it has less VRAM, which, you know, VRAM 
it isn't an issue until you don't have enough of it which is pretty much uh, the issue <laughs> all right took 20 seconds so that right there it that GPU is roughly six times faster than the CPU all right now on to the second question can you use multiple GPUs yes you can all you have to do is just turn both of them on you could actually use the CPU too but typically if you have fast uh, GPUs turning on the CPU will actually make it go slower in this case it would but in this case I want just both GPUs are turned on and we'll see what that does the time to beat is 20 seconds essentially and look how much quicker it's climbing now you got both GPUs working at it <clears throat> Fourteen seconds. Okay, now that brings up the question: Do they require any kind of SLI or NVLink? Well, obviously it does not, because the 3070 and the 3060 are not even SLI or NVLink compatible. These GPUs work together perfectly um, without needing any kind of data bridge between the GPUs all right so here's the question the the other question we bring up this the 3060 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM the 3070 has 8 gigabytes of VRAM so the question is does that do you add the memory together and suddenly you have 20 gigabytes the answer is absolutely not unfortunately you cannot do that or it does not do that but there is an exception let me uh, bring this up so you can see what the exception is <clears throat> there is an exception but this exception requires something like SLI or NVLink which suppose I had a um, two RTX 3090s in here. Each 3090 has 24 gigabytes of uh, VRAM. If I had NVLink turned on and uh, NVLink bridge attached to the GPUs, then through distributed memory access, the GPU um, could essentially have 48 gigabytes of VRAM. It will not it will perform just as well as if you didn't have the NVLink, but the memory is distributed across each individual GPU, some of it on one, some of it on the other, and essentially you end up with about 48 gigabytes. That's the only exception to doubling memory. And if you had like uh, two 2080 Ti's, I think those are they have NVLink or SLI same way with those I think those have what 11 gigabytes of VRAM each and if you used uh, NVLink on them you would end up with 22 gigabytes All right. <clears throat> so the other question that I've well it's not really a question but people assume well if you have two GPUs is it always best to use both GPUs and in this case let me let me show you this I'm, I'm going to have it set to optics and I'm going to run the 3060 at first I'm going to render this image and we'll see how long it takes now optics is more efficient than CUDA because it uses the ray tracing cores also I couldn't even begin to explain what the difference is but 16 seconds for this scene now let me change it over to the 3070 now the 3070 will be quicker render image eleven seconds so 
you, the 3060 takes 16 and the 3070 takes 11. So what happens if you add them, if you turn both of them on? Obviously it's going to be quicker, but how much quicker? It's not going to be significantly quicker for one thing because this scene is so simple to render. See, so it only dropped from 11 seconds down to 8 seconds, and that's by adding another powerful GPU. So, if you do, this is my rule of thumb. If I have like a really hard to render scene, I'll use two GPUs on that, on each frame. But if I have something simple like this, this is what I do. I have Blender open twice, and then I essentially set one of them using the 3060 and then over here to the pref I set this one so that it's using the uh, 3070 so essentially this one's set to the 3070 and this one's set to the 3060 and then over here in the output, I come down here to, well that looks weird, they, oh, I had a brain fart for a second, I don't know what, what the deal was with that, I could, didn't even see this output, I was looking for it and for some reason couldn't see it, I'm getting old. But essentially, turn off overwrite and click placeholders. That way, make sure you do that on both of them. That way, if you have an entire animation to render, you can click render animation on this one and render animation on this one. And that placeholder setting will essentially tell this instance of Blender will tell this instance of Blender that it's working on so and so like frame one and then this one will skip frame one and go to frame two and this one will tell this that it's working on frame two and then this one will skip frame two and go on to frame three so essentially it kind of makes it so that each GPU is doing every other frame and when you're when you're uh, rendering an animation especially something simple like this it's way way faster if you use one GPU on one instance and the other GPU on the other instance but if you have a really heavy scene a scene that takes a long time to render it's probably just as efficient to just have one instance of Blender open and have both GPUs working on it together and also on a real heavy scene like that, you'll save a lot of system memory if you just have one instance of Blender open. But I think that's the bulk of the questions that people keep asking. And oh, uh, one more question, and I sort of answered it without even thinking about it. People often have asked me, well, can you mix and match GPUs? And obviously the answer is yes. You can. Uh, you know, have a 3090 with a 3070, a 3090 with a 3060. You can even have a 3090 with a 980 Ti, something really old. But when it comes to uh, modern GPUs, realistically, if you're going to be using optics, you have to have an RTX card, and which means you're going to either have a 2000 series or 3000 series NVIDIA card which means sure you can you can mix in like a RTX 3070 with an RTX 2060 you could do that just fine but if you was to have like an RTX 3070 and a GTX 1080 it would work but only in CUDA it will not work in optics it will only work in CUDA but anyway, I guess that will probably answer most people's questions. And if anyone else has any more questions in regards to GPUs and Blender, uh, leave a comment below and I will try to answer you. And 
hopefully I can use this video to as a reference to uh, if anyone asks any questions at, at some point in the future I can just give them the link to this video but anyway later people